the way a bike rides and handles. Biking tends to be such a nuisance on roads. Kids pick up underage riding. Offensive tailgating, zipping, zapping and zooming through traffic becomes such a core part of their DNA that safety almost takes a back seat. Well, that is why Yamaha has organized Safe Riding Science to inculcate safe riding practices in their DNA at this tender age. Riding a bike is not science, but riding a bike safely is definitely rocket science. Just how the right shoes are important for you to be able to walk, run and do your stunts properly, the right tyres are important for your vehicle stability, steering, ride and handling. So when you're buying yourself replacement tyres, you got to make your P from your R and be sensitive to all the French written in Greek here. Have you ever thought why tyres are not bald? It's probably the same reason as why my shoes are not bald. Well, treads help maintain grip and traction for the tyres on the ground. The elevations here, which are called the lugs, basically maintain contact with the ground and the void help to sluice water. Common sense, which is not so common, deeper the grooves, better the tyre at handling wet conditions such as aquaplaning and flatter the lugs, better the tyre at handling off-roading. Buying replacement tyres sounds good fun, but what if you have this? Well, for exotic cars such as these, there's little leg room for the front and the rear and barely any for the boot. That is why run flat tyres originated that can travel for about 80 kilometres at about 80 kilometres an hour after a puncture. They do so on their structural strength than the pneumatic of it. Do you know, engineers and scientists are making constant efforts to reduce the rolling resistance of your tyres. But a lot comes from you by vigilantly maintaining the tyre pressure of your car. By doing so, you're not just reducing the burden on your pockets, but also on the environment by reducing recycling problems and the burden on the landfills. Well, on that note, here's our tip of the week from our official tyre baba, Bunny Punya. Hi guys, my name is Bunny and what better way to start the weekly tip section but with this. Yes, it comes from China and it's called an emergency tyre inflator. Well, this can be useful for both men and women in the city, on the highways, in the dark and the night as well. But this little thing is gonna save you a lot of time at the air filling stations, a lot of money as well in terms of tips. So how can this can you use this for infringing tires? Well, pretty simple. It's got two parts, a hose over here for the tires, of course, and the charger over here for the 12 wheel socket in the car. Let's find out. Well, it's a pretty straightforward job for you. The hose of this inflator has to go inside the valve over here. Just open the valve cap and be careful when you put the hose inside because it's gonna probably leak a bit of air but that's hardly half a PSI. So don't worry. So once you have the hose inside the valve over there, the only thing left is to give it some electricity. And that comes from the 12 volt socket inside your car. So while this thing fills up my car's tire, till the next week, signing up from Turbo, Bunny and Tarveen from Guy.com.